Hey guys, it's Dan. What's up? Welcome to another episode of Guitar Talk. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Massive thank you to all of you that have done it so far. Roll that intro! Hey guys, welcome back to Guitar Talk. So something a little bit different today, a bit of a throwback. So this is a PRS DC3 that I picked up for myself last week. You don't see them every day. So I thought, let's do a review of it. Let's check it out. Checking out the specs at the body, we have got an older body with a PRS trem system that's got steel components in there. We've got three single coil pickups, which are PRS's DC3 pickups, a single volume and tone, and a five-way switch. Checking out the specs at the neck on this, we have got a maple neck with a maple fretboard, dot inlays that have got a really cool little white circle around them. I'll show you a close up of those now. And then we've got 22 nickel frets. It's a 25 and a quarter inch scale, and it's got PRS's locking tuners on there as well. Obviously, normally when I do these kind of reviews, I talk about how things come straight out of the box. Obviously, I cannot do that with this guitar because it is a 2011 model. But what I can do for you is talk about how it has stood up against the last 11 years. So we'll start off with the setup. This came to me from a guitar collector who does play his guitars very often. Um, you know, they do get played. There is a little bit of fret wear on here, but not loads. It's set up really, really well. The intonation is in all the way up the neck. It feels great. The neck is nice and sturdy. The action has been set up so that it's a nice typical Strat action. Obviously, it's not a Strat, it's a PRS DC3, but you can see the kind of thing that they were going for. Um, that to me is a testament, the fact that this is 11 years old and from what I can see, it's not had any major work done on it. It has got some bumps and bruises on there. So the fact that it's taken some abuse where it's been played and it hasn't needed any kind of major work to get it to set up this good, it's just to me a testament to a company like PRS, how well they have made this instrument. <laughs> The general feel of this thing to me feels great. It's a satin finished neck. I don't know if that's worn down over time from a gloss neck, but I don't think so because it's really consistent across the whole back of the neck. There's no like wear spots or anything like that. So I assume that it is a satin finished neck from the factory, but it feels great to me. It's a pattern regular neck, which is thicker than the pattern thin neck they do. I prefer the pattern thin neck on things like custom 22s that just suits me with those guitars but on this style of guitar you know this um three single coil style of guitar i really really like the slightly thicker neck because the i don't want to say chunky because it's not a thick neck like the silver sky which by the way i've done a silver sky comparison video so you can see the difference between the two but just that little bit of extra meat on the neck, it just seems to make me groove a little bit better, which I like doing when I'm playing this style of guitar. So it feels really, really comfortable in my hand. It's nice and played in, you know, I don't know how it was out of the factory, but it feels really, really good after a decade of use. <laughs> Thank you. 
The sounds that you can get out of this thing, I mean, obviously I will let you guys judge for yourself from the clips of me playing in between talking, but to my ears, these pickups, you get all of the dynamics and spank of a single coil, but with a little bit more clout and bottom end, and then not so much high-end trebly ice picking. As high-end is still there, but it's a lot more smooth and rounded. So if you're someone that doesn't like Strat style pickups because they're too harsh sounding on the high end, then these are a good alternative. That being said, I used to have a 305, which is essentially like a, I think it was mahogany with a set neck and it had the same pickups in it. I loved it, it sounded great, but when I went to gigs, I always found if I wanted a Strat style tone, I'd always pick up my Strat. But I think that was just an in my head thing. And I think where this has got an older body, so it's more, along the kind of materials that you would, you would find on a Strat, I'm more likely to pick this up to play more often than I would have been the 305. But yeah, the tones, you, obviously you've got your five-way switch, so you can get all of those classic Strat-style tones, but without that kind of harsh tinniness that you can get on some Strat pickups. <laughs> Obviously in the videos, I usually do a bit where I say, would I own one of these? And I do own this, so yes, I would own one of these. I guess, would I keep one of these? Time will tell, but I am instantly happier with this than I was with the 305 when I had that. Have a look at one. Um, I might put a little picture up here or something so that you guys can see what they look like. Um, but I'm instantly happier, and I love blue guitars, so that's a plus with this. So all signs are looking good for would I own one of these and keep one of these. Um, I don't see any particular reason for me to want to get rid of it other than being bored. But yeah, would I own one? I do, and I really like it. Is it worth the money? Um, it's a bit of a weird one because the prices on these can vary quite a lot. You can pick these up in the UK sometimes for around a thousand pounds, which I think is just because it's one of the lesser known models that PRS did. So not a lot of people are looking for PRS DC3s or if they see them, they just don't know what they are. Obviously with the Silver Sky, people are looking more towards PRS for single coil style guitars because they know the kind of thing that they can do because of the popularity that John Mayer brought to the brand. So as I said, you can pick these up for around a thousand pounds in the UK if you're lucky, but sometimes people list them for around two thousand pounds. If there's not that many around time, people do pay that much for them. So the price is all over the place. So is it worth the money? A thousand pounds, definite hard yes at two thousand pounds. I guess it's up to you and how much you want one of these, but all I will say is it plays as well as and feels as nice as any high-end Strat, Silver Sky, anything like that that I've played. Anything that reaches that 2,000 pound price mark, this feels as good as. So if you are comparing it to that ballpark figure of guitar, then yes, it is up there with those in terms of build quality, but at the moment, you can still get a bargain on these, but with, as I say, the popularity of the Silver Sky and everything like that, and the fact that these weren't around for ages, then I do think that these will just go up in value. <laughs> Build quality, as I said, I cannot do out of the box how good the build quality is and only how it's held up over 11 years, but it's taken knocks, dinks, as I said, it's got bruises, it's got a couple of little bashes on it, and it still plays awesomely, it feels great. There's a couple of little cracks in the neck pocket that you normally get on this style of guitar, but I don't think they've gone through to the woods, it's just in the paint, and 
you know, again, it feels awesome. It feels great to play. It's all strong and stable, and it's everything that you would expect from a company like PRS in terms of build quality. So top marks there, a decade of being played, being knocked around, and it's still in one piece and strong, stable, feels great. <laughs> Is there anything that I don't like about this guitar? You know, honestly, the only thing that springs to mind to me is just the look of the pickups. They are a little bit of a weird looking pickup if you're used to, like I am, like most people are, box standard single coil style pickups or things like this with hot rails where you've got the two bars across them. These just look a little bit weird. That's not a bad thing, just something that I'm not used to. It's not to say that I won't get used to it over time. They do sound great, but it's just the look. That's the only thing about this guitar that I can say, honestly, off the top of my head, at the moment, I'm not a huge fan of. So there we go, that is the PRS DC3 guitar. I'm not entirely sure on the story behind why these were made, other than that they came out around the same time as the PRS 305s and the PRS narrow fill, the free narrow fill pickups in. I think maybe it was just PRS trying to fill a gap in the style of guitar that they did. They didn't sell particularly amazingly as far as I'm aware but they are a fantastic guitar. So why don't you guys let me know what you think in the comments below if you know more about these models and the history behind them. Let me know. Other than that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.